Over 3,000 young people like myself participated in Your Voice in 2021. It was a challenging and inspiring process where we were asked to put forward our concerns about the important issues in society. Your town has demonstrated a willingness and commitment to engage with us and hear us throughout this process. And this is reflected in the recommendations and information that have been collected. Young people have the drive to create meaningful change, but feel they don't have the means to create it. I have huge dreams and I want to achieve them more than anything. I know many in my generation want to own a house and have kids, but that just feels out of reach. People aren't feeling safe in schools. We need to treat some of the causes of poor mental health rather than responding to the effects. So I'm only left with $10 after I pay all my bills and everything, so I've got to try and work that out for a whole fortnight. Honestly, my mental health is probably the worst it's been due to the constant stresses of assignments. Not enough is being done. Australia is meant to be equal, but are we actually equal? There have been many complex issues raised by young people during the Your Voice project, with many of these being connected. The key issues from the survey were mental health, education, employment, environment, cost of living, safety, access to services, and youth empowerment and participation. There seems to be a weird middle ground with mental health services that just isn't covered. It's so easy to fall through the gaps in our mental health system. If you're too much for headspace, you either have to figure it out on your own or experience care not designed for young people. A lot of damage can be done based on ignorance. Specifically, teachers not understanding when someone is struggling with mental health. The school education system needs to prepare young people with practical skills they will need in adulthood. I'm also worried about the likelihood of getting a full-time job after graduating. Young people are employed but don't have access to dependable work. Even after 13 volunteer positions and 5 internships during my undergraduate degree, I never got a job in my field after I graduated. My biggest concerns are that the wildlife and environment around us are slowly disappearing. I really think that we should be considering renewables more seriously. I think that we could and should be world leaders. Housing is a basic human right and it has become unattainable for young people. An increase would give me greater time to dedicate to my studies and help to decrease the financial burden and mental health repercussions of living week to week. I think a lot of problems start in schools, especially with the behaviour of students being the language used or actions towards other pupils because there's a lot of homophobia, transphobia, racism and sexism in my school. Often kids won't seek help for the fear of being judged, bullied or stereotyped. Not enough is being done for young minorities. I am not taken seriously because my disability isn't obvious. Dealing with Centrelink is a nightmare. I do think they should be more clear, transparent and engaged in the community. There is a lack of representation of diverse voices. Through the project, seven recommendations were developed. The young people in the Your Voice project call for the Commonwealth to support the development of wellbeing hubs based in education institutions and the community that supply educational, mental health, employment, transitional and wellbeing support for young people. Commit to the development of youth specific communication strategies developed in consultation with young people to allow for information about government policies, processes and supports to be accessible for all people, regardless of their age, background or diverse needs. The young people in the Your Voice project call for the Commonwealth to increase the rate of welfare payments and allowances to cover an individual's basic needs that is regularly reviewed based on changes to the average wage and cost of living and increase flexibility and equity in decision-making regarding welfare support for young people, which takes into account the needs of the individual and their circumstances. To increase funding to mental health services, to develop more comprehensive referral pathways and support systems, to allow for more timely access to appropriate support for those that require specialised and intensive support. Require all federal government funding, tenders and grants, including those for health, education, industry and business, to include details of how organisation will provide a welcoming, safe and supportive environment for diverse individuals. 
The young people that have been a part of the consultations want the Commonwealth Government to commit to having youth engagement and participation as a requirement for local members during their term. Commit to action which will limit global temperature increases to 1.5 by 2030. The benefits of these approaches would mean that young people have improved health and well-being, have easier access to services, increased opportunity to find a job, increased connection to the community, increased independence and trust in the government. Please listen to us.